as we celebrate Father's Day, and we mean celebrate. You can check it out on Instagram and Twitter as well as we have posted pictures throughout the day. One father and son duo are helping the families of fallen U.S. service members. Al and Michael Panetti got involved in the Travis Manion Foundation, some good friends of the show, that is named after a Marine First Lieutenant who was killed in action in Afghanistan. Al and his son Michael got involved after reading the message of Manion's father about answering a call to service, and they join us both now. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Al, I want to start with you. What, what spoke to you, especially when you wanted to bring your son in? Well, it was actually my son who brought me in. Uh, when he was in sixth grade, he read Brothers Forever, and uh, he inspired me to get involved after he told me the story of Travis Mannion and Brendan Looney and the bond they had and the character that they had throughout their, their time as, as, French, as friends at the Naval Academy. So I want to, Michael, I mean, what, what made you bring in your father and, and what are your goals? Well, uh, I read the book when I was in sixth grade for a book report and I told my father immediately after because it had a profound impact on me. And uh, as for my goals for the future, I will wish to attend the United States Naval Academy one day. What do you, what, what do you want people to know, especially about the Travis Mannion Foundation? Uh, I want people to know that this foundation like gives back to the f uh, families of the fallen heroes mm -hmm. and I want like well, something that the Travis Mannion Foundation does is help the better the community so something that I've tried to do something my father's tried to do and uh, my whole community we just try to like make everyone around us better by helping out. Michael, it is a great book uh, that sort of the Travis Mannion Foundation came out of and we've had them on uh, to talk about it as well what in that book spoke to you? Did you want to go to the Naval Academy before you read the book? Give us a sense of the timeline here and what you took from the book. Well, so I always wanted to attend the Naval Academy, but this book just pushed my passion for uh, service. And, you know, I want to be a military man my whole life. So, uh, yeah, that's really how it like, had an impact on me. Just mm -hmm. pushed me forward more. I, I, I'm curious, Al, I want to bring you in. Al, are you starting to see it? When it spread really your message and is it is it is there a ripple effect yeah this 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 uh, this message of character and leadership and selfless service that our men and women overseas uh, are giving this nation is, is what it really is about and uh, able to get out there and and spread this word of character integrity and service to our younger members so to bring them forward and get them out in the community and honor the legacy of the fallen not only Travis and Brendan, but for those other service members that have, have sacrificed all. Boy, we need more of that. Yeah, we, we definitely need more of that. And uh, Al, we're watching some video right now of you uh, in your uniform uh, with the New Jersey State Police. So yep. we thank you for your service uh, as well. And uh, Michael, good luck. Let us know how things uh, progress. You'll yep. be a man to follow for a long time to come. Thank you very much. All right, you can see right down